now we will talk about fossil fuels ok. So, what we are talking about now we are going to talk about fossil fossil fuels ok. Now, I think even this you might have an idea about this like what is the meaning of fossil fuels see children it is being it is being assumed ok by the scientists that before many years when I say before many years in in relation to in rela like when I am talking about the fossil fuels and when I say many years it does not means 1 to 10 20 years it means thousands and thousands of years ok before thousands and thousands of years ok what happened the forest the forest it is assumed by the scientist that the forest were totally like it got it got decomposed or it got buried first of all ok the whole forest got buried or particular in particular part that the plants and uh, uh, animals they got buried under the soil. Now, when these uh, animals and plants they got buried under the soil what happened see now these are the plants and the animals in particular area ok. Now, when these plants got buried, buried means what is happening now above this again the layer of the sand is formed, soil is formed and again on this what is happening another life has started that means this has gone under the surface of the earth. Hmm? Now, what can be the reason of uh, burying of the plants and animals it can be certain one or the another kind of natural calamities it can be volcanoes it can be earthquake it can be anything like floods it can be anything like drought. So, due to such kind of natural calamities when the forests were buried ok when the plants and animal were, were like they they become what what happened they died ok they died and on that on these animals and plants when the layer of sand and soil was developed. So, what happened now slowly as they were down in the surface of the earth the temperature also rise raised at the time the temperature was increased and obviously what was happening the pressure was also increasing. How come the pressure was increasing just imagine these plants and these animals are under the surface of the earth and above this again different life has started existing that means different life has uh, the different life was in form like the other plants were there animals were there. So, obviously lot of pressure was created over here ok and the temperature was also increased. So, what happened due to this high temperature and due to this high pressure this these plants and animal got converted into the what now we call as fossil fuels ok. So, so uh, th th this is the method how what we have uh, you know acknowledged about uh, what we know about the fossil fuel is this that the forest when the plants and animals got buried under the surface of the soil and again another layer of the sand was formed on this the new life existed on this above surface and these went inside the earth and they were under what high temperature and pressure. So, what happened these all these dead animals and plants they got converted into fossil fuels ok. When we say fossil fuels then I when I have explained it should be also in the form of a definition ok we should be able to define it also. So, how and what can I write when the plants and animals got
buried and slowly decomposed under high temperature and pressure then what is form okay when the plants and animals got buried and slowly decomposed under high temperature and pressure fossil fuels fossil fuels were formed okay so this is the way how can we how we can define the fossil fuels when the plants and animals got buried and slowly decomposed under high temperature and pressure fossil fuel was formed okay uh, i think this is uh, when we are talking about fossil fuels you should also have an idea about the fossils see what is fossil i think many of you might be knowing also when these got converted into one or the other substance okay uh maybe petrol maybe coal okay and what was happening uh, uh, so uh, sorry what it is known as fossil fuel you know sometimes what happen now this is suppose a plant okay it got buried under the soil now this plant has fallen down okay on certain uh, maybe rock or maybe on the surface of the soil it rain and the impression okay the mark of this plant has come on this rock or maybe the part of a soil suppose this is a part of the soil and here now the plant has fallen down okay the plant has fallen down on this now what has happened now pressure is being pressure is there so due to this what is happening the mark of this plant has come on this rock i'll give an easy example suppose you have a piece of uh, like i i can say anything like maybe a uh, uh, sweet okay and you take your cap the pen of the cap or anything which have designed or you take one coin okay this is in your hand you have taken a piece of sweet okay maybe a little uh, melted little melted semi solid your dairy milk and keep 1 rupee coin on it like this so what will happen what will happen the mark of the coin will come on this and you can just remove your coin after removing the coin also that mark will be there okay see what i am saying in one hand you have taken a dairy milk or any chocolate which is in a semi liquid semi solid form is little bit melted okay it is not very hard on this if you keep a 1 rupee coin and press it and you remove the coin what you will find you will find the impression of that coin has come on this chocolate in the same way when the plant is dead it is lying on the surface of the soil or the rock and when the pressure is there so what will happen the same impression will be created on the surface of the rock or soil now see you have removed the coin similarly this part of the plant got decomposed okay this plant is not there now but the impression of this plant or animal is left on the surface of the rock or on that particular part okay maybe a piece of uh, rock or moist or uh, you know like a uh, muddy part okay now after many years many years also what is happened see in the beginning only this plant was decomposed now only the impression is there and now after many years when the scientists they dig the earth they get this impression as it is okay so these are known as what fossils these fossils are very very important in the studies of which kind of animals the prehistoric or the the animals which has come in the past which existed in the past these fossils they give us like it acts as a you know it is valuable uh, source of information 
for the scientists to understand to know how the evolution has took place and to know about the animals which existed existed in the past okay so this was about the fossils what is fossil it is the mark okay of the plant or the animal and what are the fossil fuels fossil fuels are the fuels or the when the plants and animals they got converted into when when they were buried they were buried means nobody buried them but when they got buried and when the pressure was there lot of high pressure and temperature in the presence of high temperature and pressure these got what got plants and animals got converted into fossil fuels okay now what can be under the uh, example la like what are the examples of fossil fuels it can be coal it can be natural gas okay it can be petrol so what all these are known as these all are known as fossil fuels okay these all are known as fossil fuels now see uh we now know we have discussed that these are formed due to the uh, what is what has hap what had happened when the forest the whole plants and the animal the whole forest had buried okay so you know the decomposition or the conversion of the uh, this wood the animals into coal or into petrol it it is not a very fast process like suppose if we have dug the plant we have removed uh, plants and uh, we have uh, dug the soil and we have put this plants and the dead animals into the soil and very next day i was saying a year or two or 10 years will get the, uh, these animals and plants will get converted into petrol or coal no this is not the case Uh, what is actually happening this process is very say i've written slowly decompose so this process is very very slow process it takes millions of years to like to have such kind of conversion okay so that is the reason why there is threat that is the reason why we need to use these things very cautiously okay these this is the reason why we need to think before using such kind of fossil fuels obviously pollution is one of the reason one of the danger which is like i should say which is the biggest danger for the existence of our earth itself okay or our existence on the surface of the earth so what is the uh, thing now all this coal natural gas and petrol are known as fossil fuels now first of all we will study about coal okay now we are going to study about coal i think you all have seen coal how coal is it is black in color okay how coal is it is black in color okay it is very hard and it is what like it can be used as a fuel also it is used as fuel okay so what is coal coal is fossil fuel fossil <coughs> how coal is coal is black color coal is hard and coal is also used as a fossil fuel we all have seen coal okay now how coal is formed in nature first of all we'll talk about the formation of the coal how coal is formed before talking about the formation what is present in the coal okay so carbon okay hydrogen oxygen 
are the major components of the coal. See, when I am saying like uh, we are talking about the burial of the animals and plants, when they got buried under the soil and when due to high pressure and temperature these were what converted. So, obviously what is happening? It is having what carbon. One very important thing which has to uh, be you know which we should keep in our mind that when we talk about coal we have to talk only about plants and trees. Okay. There is no role of animals in the formation of coal. I will write the definition of coal also that how coal is formed. Okay. But just keep this thing particularly in the mind that how coal is formed due to the burial of the plants and trees. Please try to understand when I have written this definition where I, where I have discussed about both plants and animals. Okay, Plants and animals, but here I am talking about fossil fuels. Okay, So, coal and petrol are the example which we are going to discuss of what fossil fuels, but always remember whenever we talk about coal we will talk about only plants and trees. That means, how coal is formed? Coal is formed due to the decomposition or the burial and decomposition of plants and trees. Okay. Majority what is present in that coal? What is there? What is there? Carbon is present in the coal. Okay. So, first of all to start with what is the formation of coal like what are the chemical what are the things which are present in the coal. So, first of all carbon is present, hydrogen is present, oxygen is present and in little amount even phosphorus ok in little amount even phosphorus, sulphur and even nitrogen is present. Okay. What is present? Even nitrogen is present. So, what we are discussing? We are talking about coal. What is coal? It is a fossil fuel. How it is formed due to the uh, burial and decomposition of the plants and trees? Please pay attention. We cannot write animals over here. Okay how it is? It is black in color, it is very hard, it is used as fuel. We are going to talk about the uses separately also. And what is the how it is formed? What like how it is formed is what are the composition of the coal? Carbon is there, hydrogen is there and oxygen is there. These things are there in the plenty. Okay, These things are there in the plenty but even some amount of phosphorus, sulphur and nitrogen is also present in the coal. Okay. Now, if I have to write how like uh, the definition of the like formation of the coal. Okay. So, I can even write here like this no place left over here I will have to write there only. Okay. So, Carbonization. Okay, now what is the meaning of carbonization? See, children, again again we are talking that due to plants and trees, coal is formed. Okay, so what has happened? Wood, okay, wood has got converted, okay, wood has got converted into what? It has got converted into coal. Okay, wood has got converted into coal. So, this process okay, it is very slow process which kind of process it is very slow process. So, what is happening what how we can define carbonization what is the meaning of carbonization it means when the wood okay, when the wood get converted into coal this process is known as carbonization. 
it is very slow process and so it is very slow process ok. So, if I have to write how coal is formed ok formation of formation of coal. So, how coal is formed children it is formed ok by the burial and decomposition of plants and trees what is formed uh, which kind of process just see by the burial and decomposition of plants and trees under very high temperature and pressure is called is like what how it is formed by the burial and decomposition of plants and trees under very high temperature and pressure. So, how it is formed it is formed in this way by the burial of this under high very high temperature and pressure ok. Is it formed recently? No. So, before many years so na? or for long time before many years and, na? and for long time you can write all these things in brackets so that you can remember you have to detail it ok. So, before many years many means what one or two no thousands and millions of years ago for long time due to burial and decomposition of plants and trees under very high temperature and pressure what was formed coal was formed ok. And what do we have in the coal obviously carbon is there, hydrogen is there, oxygen is there and little amount of phosphorus little amount of sulfur and little amount of nitrogen is also present in the coal ok. One very important thing which we have to keep in our mind is we cannot write over here about what animals why because the major like what is present in this carbon wood is present in this it is formed from the burial and decomposition of the wood ok.